Hello, welcome to today's lesson. Today's lesson promises to be very, very interesting as it will be our first lesson for this team. Today's lesson will be interesting because our topic for will be swimming. Firstly, I would like us to discuss about the meaning of swimming. Swimming can simply be explained as a sport or activity that require the use of one's arms and legs to move the body through water. In many competitive events, each swimmer mounts a start block, which is a small platform situated at the end of the pool above the racing lane. When the race starts, the swimmer dives from the start block into the lane and begin to swim. There are a lot of basic skills needed for beginners to carry out this swimming event. And also for these beginners to learn how to swim, there are a lot of basic skills that they need to know about swimming. Some of these basic skills for beginners are, the first step for this basic skill is coming into and out of the water. And these skills involve when the swimmer tries to get used to the water. Slow, the first step is a slow step into the water. Do it as many times as possible. And also gently step out of the water and let the water drop off your skin. This is the first step of when a beginner is learning how to swim. Now the second step is also adjusting to the water. The swimmer enters the water with a partner, holding the partner's hand or at the waist behind in a bent position and move about in the shallow water. That's and also stand and bend from the waist, move about with the arms, stretch forward as if you are lying on the water. Another one is breathing. Take a deep, take in a deep breath and dip thyself in the water. Stay in for a few seconds and then you come out again. Do this repeatedly to learn how to take, take a deep breath while you are swimming. One more skill for beginners is also called tuffle floating. This happens when the, the swimmer lie in the water with your head and neck above the water and then let the same partner that has helped you, let the partner hold your hands as you learn to float on the water. That is also a skill for beginners. Another one is face floating. Face floating is also another basic skill for beginners. This happens when the swimmer lies with the stomach and the face in the water. Move along the surface by pushing the arms and the legs forwards and backwards. This is called face floating. One more beginner skill is surface diving. Float on top of the water. This is when the beginner float on top of the water. Flapping the hands and the legs con continuously, raise your head up as you push your whole body forward. These basic skills for beginners are very, very important for everyone who is learning how to swim. A beginner must go through these basic skills in order for he or her to be very, very effective in a competitive sporting activity. Swimming also has some safety rules in swimming. Some of these safety rules are very important too. In order for you to be able to be safe, you have to carry out some of these safety rules. And these safety rules are, one, doing some warm-up exercise to to get the body ready for swimming. Before the swimming activity, you need to do some warm exercise regularly. Two, stay out of water. Stay out of the water when you're cold and tired. 
we need to stay out of the water. Also make sure that there is a lifeguard present before entering the water in order to ensure your safety. One more thing, you need to use recommended swimming wears to prevent injury. To carry out these swimming activities, there are recommended swimming wears that are recommended for this activity. So you need to use them in order for you to be effective and to avoid injuries. I hope you learned a lot today about swimming, about safety rules in swimming, and also about some basic rules, some basic skills for beginners as you learn to swim. Until then, see you in our last lesson, and bye for now.